Hi, and welcome to episode 44 of China Tools, a series of videos where I test woodworking tools from China. My name is Dennis, and I am from Hooked on Wood. And I want to look closer at this pocket hole jig in this video. And maybe it looks familiar because I reviewed the base version last year. But this is what they called the Pro Max version. So let us see if this upgrade is worth the extra price tag. But first, it feels like some time ago I uploaded my last video. And that was because I had to finish my new workbench, which looks really awesome. And I placed this top on my Felder Fat 300S, a height adjustable work table. And I even impressed myself by how it looks. And it is a pleasure to work with. And when you remove the wheels, it is sturdy enough to act as a full range workbench. And I want some experience with it because I already know I need to make some changes. And after that, I will make a video about it. At least when you think it is interesting, of course, because it's a very specific for a height adjustable workbench. Let me know in the comments. And you see, I use a black minor track inside this workbench. And I like the minimalistic look it creates on the black MDF. And there are a lot of colors that combine perfectly with black. And the standard aluminum color looks great as well, but gives an entirely other impression. This looks more minimalistic, but also powerful. Anyway, I love them and my good has them now in the program. And they have the wider minor tracks, but they also have the smaller tree tracks. So you can combine them in your workshop. The price is really attractive and I think it's great they offer this color as well. I also made eight significant upgrades to my dust extraction system. And I believe with these upgrades, I am pretty close to the perfect dust extraction system for the average workshop. And I just recently finished it. I am still so excited about the system that I have to show you a little teaser. Doesn't that look awesome? And I need to change some small things and then I'm just finished with this project. And I must decide whether to make one or two episodes about this project. And I actually do not know what you think about that. Do you prefer a longer video of 30 minutes or two videos of max 15 to 20 minutes? I'm curious, so let me know in the comments. Okay, let's go back to the pocket hole jig. And I have to admit that I really like this pocket hole jig. But as with all my pocket hole jigs, it is good to build a platform to give better stability. So this uh, Pro version tries to cover this. And when I say I really like this pocket hole jig, that is a much more balanced expression than you might think. Pocket hole jigs might look the same, but some differences make working with uh, one much more convenient than the other. So to sum up how I come to this conclusion, the quality of this pocket hole jig is good. And the fit and finish are very good. And although I think there is one level above this from a quality perspective, for the price, it is excellent. The clamping mechanism, but I must say the clamping experience, is one of the most convenient I know. And although I like how you can clamp your workpiece from the front with the Crack 720, because you do not need to reach over the workpiece, clamping with the Enjoywood Pocket Object feels more convenient and easy. 
it has such a sturdy base and clamping mechanism that there's no flex at all. And you note this in a very convenient way of clamping. And the clamping force goes way further than necessary. And I would even say it is too easy to create such a brutal clamping force. So you have to be careful not to create too much unnecessary stress on your pocket hole jig and workpiece. A clamping power between 20 to 40 kg is more than enough. And you can create this force by just turning it half or one turn. And I talked about clamping experience because it feels so solid and easy. The Enjoywood has the best dust extraction I know. It is possible to use it without creating any dust while drilling. But it also cleans the hole too roughly from dust. And although my crack has an impressive looking dust pot, I cannot get this level of clean work. It is a hybrid version, so you can use it without a platform. And also in this case you can use the dust extraction. And the dust extraction port is sturdy enough when you have to place a clamp on it. And you see three holes in the drill guide, making it more flexible than pocket hole jigs with only two holes, which have holes pretty close to each other. And this is suitable for creating a face frame, but too tight when using it on a wider workpiece. And at last, the bushings are very thick and of good quality. So it's a perfect base. So let's see what the pro version has extra to offer. First, there is a tool to set up the drill bit. And it's built nicely and works pretty well. It certainly does it more convenient than the basic version, where you have to set up your drill bit by holding it against the ruler on the platform. The thing with this accessory is that I found it unnecessary. And I still uh, find the most convenient way of setting up the drill bit by placing it in the drill guide. This works very straightforwardly because you do not have to hold the drill bit in place. And when you use something to lift the drill bit tip, it's also very consistent. But maybe this is uh, just a personal thing. But perhaps the most exciting thing can be what they created to stabilize a larger workpiece. And we see some bars you can attach, creating a very wide platform of around 120 cm. And your workpiece can rest on these stop blocks. And my first impression was that it could be a more stable construction. This system has some flex and the stop blocks have a minimum platform. But when your workpiece is straight, this flexibility is acceptable in practice. And when I got it, my first impression was it would be completely useless. But while working with it, that would be a misplaced comment. I have to say that especially a wider workpiece stays relatively stable on these uh, small platforms. Even when I try to do it in a less sophisticated manner, they keep the workpiece in balance. That said, I think a more comprehensive platform would be more secure and better. And when we look closer at uh, these small platforms, we see that they are actually stop blocks. And I must say that uh, on the pocket hole GX platforms I made in the past, I also included some kind of stop blocks. But in practice, I found the use too limited. And I only use them with relatively smaller workpieces to set up a beginning and an end where you do not have to drill holes in between. When you have to create a series of holes spread over a wider area, drilling them at a consistent distance from each other is more important. So I found lines that mark a certain distance much more useful. And I made a platform for my Crack 720 too bulky. And because of my desire for a smaller pocket hole jig, my last platform for the base version of the Enjoywood pocket hole jig is perhaps a little bit too small. So I wanted to try to create a platform that I can add on. And this way I will keep the pocket hole jig light and easy to store, but have all the benefits when needed. So I had to put my G-Way Cloud laser to work. And as usual, it creates a very nice looking product. And by the way, when you are interested in this laser, do not forget with the discount code HOOKED, you get $200 discount. I will place a link in my description. And by placing a mark every 50 millimeters, it is easy to choose a consistent distance between these pocket holes. And the result is a perfect synchronized series of pocket holes without placing any marks on your work pieces. And I used this combination for my dust extraction project and I liked working with it. So back to the Enjoywood XK4 Pro Max pocket hole jig. I like the XK4 in its base version and I rated it 4.5 stars. But it's currently on sales for $65 and I consider that a bargain. 
if it had been that price during my review, I would have definitely rated it five stars because there is nothing that I dislike about working with this pocket hole jig. It's a sweet spot between build quality and flexibility because you can use it without the platform and because of the three drill holes and ease of use. And I do not think it's easy to find a pocket hole jig in this price range that offers you more enjoyment working with it. So now when it comes to the XK4 Pro Max, it costs around $50 extra. And although I cannot say other than that the setup guide is helpful and the extension kit creates stability for longer work pieces, but when you can or are willing to make a platform for the pocket hole jig yourself, I think there are better ways to spend that extra money. And this, this is my scoring card. Well, that was the end of this video. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you are not already a member. And my next video is about uh, my dust extraction system. And I cannot wait to start editing on that. Have a nice weekend and well, we see each other next time.